Welcome guys to a new video for Italian for Americans. Today we're going to see something very interesting together which is five English words that are written the same in Italian but they mean different things. So be careful. Let's start with um, word number one which is confetti. Confetti in Italian means coriandolo or coriandoli. But we also have the word confetti. Confetti in Italian. So it's pronounced confetti, which is the plural of the word confetto, which is a sugared almond sweet that we typically eat at weddings or that we give as a gift during weddings. So if you hear the word confetti in Italian, be aware that it has a different meaning than the word in English confetti. Now number two is sale. And we have the word sale in Italian, so be careful not to mix the two because it's pronounced in a different way, as you've seen. It's not sale, it's sale, but it's spelled the same. The word sale, pronounced uh, sale in Italian, means salt. So when you see the word sale in Italy, don't uh, confuse it with the word for uh, reduced price. The Italian word for sale is vendita. Vendita. And for sales is saldi. For sales is saldi. So when you will see in Italy the word saldi, it means that it's on sales. Number three is the word estate, which in English means a large property. In Italian is actually pronounced estate. Estate and it means summer. The, the translation of the English word estate or real estate in Italian will be Proprietà immobiliare. Proprietà immobiliare. So remember, estate, summer. In questo momento è iniziata l'estate in Italia. Number four is spot. If you hear an Italian saying the word spot, he's probably referring to a, a TV commercial. And I know that also in English uh, it can be used that way. But, uh, of course, if we take it as the English word spot for a place, in Italy we will say posto, luogo. This is a great spot to go on vacation. Questo è un fantastico posto per andare in vacanza. Questo è un fantastico luogo per andare in vacanza. Questo è un bel posto, luogo per scattare una foto. This is a great spot to take a picture. Number five and the last one for today is pepperoni. And let's talk about pizza, of course. So I know that in, in the US, uh, if you say pepperoni pizza, you mean a pizza with uh, salame piccante, which is spicy sausage. But don't confuse it with the Italian word pepperoni with a single P. So just one P with this word pepperoni, 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 not pepperoni, pepperoni which is the plural of peperone, peperone, which means pepper, referring to the fruit of the capsicum plant. So if you are in Italy, you cannot order a peperoni pizza. They will not understand you. Or they may come with the fruit on the, on the pizza. There is the pizza with peperoni. If you'd like to order a peperoni pizza with spicy sausage, you need to order Pizza con salame piccante. Pizza con salame piccante. And indeed, the word pepperoni in English means salame piccante in Italian. So guys, these are five words that uh, you don't need to confuse from English to Italian. We will see many more in the future. But I thank you for watching. I remind you that you have a free gift to download in the description to start learning with the natural process to learn Italian with me. The goal I have is to help you build as fast as you can your core in Italian with the basic words and verbs and structures so that you can move as fast as you can to interesting Italian comprehensible input. That's my goal. So you can subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment if you want to say hi and I will see you next Sunday. Thank you for watching.